Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Schmidt with Mall of America, and I am oh, so excited to be here with Tim Gunn today. We're Aww. happy to have you back. For Sarah, I'm thrilled to be back. Second book, great. Thank so you. you are here sending copies of Tim Gunn's Fashion Bible. Yes. Which every fashionista should own. I agree. I, think. I agree. So can you start by telling us a little bit about the book? Well, this is a fashion history. It's, but it's meant to be a very accessible and relatable fashion history book because it's told by what's in, uh, by what's in your closet, okay. um, and that's how it's categorized and organized. Okay. Um, and I wanted this to be an antidote to the fashion history books that are already out there. However, I will say I'm not claiming that this is a great academic text. The research was daunting; it took a year and a half. Okay. Um, and I and the hardest part about this book was editing, was taking things out because otherwise it would have been three times this thickness. Um, and the history of fashion is fascinating; it really is. I, I mean, mean, when whenever people say, "Oh, fashion is so inconsequential; it doesn't matter. Why should any anyone bother knowing anything about it?" Well, when we tell the history of society and cultures, how do we tell it? Through the environments in which people lived and the clothes that they wore. So. That's pretty important, if you ask me. I, I couldn't agree more. Thank you. So you said that the research was quite daunting. Yes. Did you, uh, during that research, find that you enjoyed learning more about one particular era or part of fashion history? I loved everything, I have to say. And for me, this was this was uh, researching this book was like going back to graduate school. Okay. Um, every time, and I I wrote this with Ada Calhoun, who's a generation younger than I am, and is a woman. So between the two of us, we really had our eye on everything, and I needed her desperately. And we were just wrapped with um, surprise and with um, the whole act of discovery, because every time we would open a new door, we'd find that there were four doors behind it. And you can't ignore those four doors, or three of them, you have to open every one of them. And each door led to, some, led to something else. We loved it. We had our own study carol at the New York Public Library, the main branch, um, and we could just leave books in there. And we, we just we had a wonderful, incredible time doing this book. It sounds like my kind of research. Yeah. It really does. It really does. So I was able to go up and chat with a couple of your fans before oh. this to just kind of find out what do they want to know from Tim Gunn. So oh, I have a couple of questions. Know. Well, let's see. Okay. Okay. So um, one lady had asked, "What are you? What is your favorite fall trend this season?" You know, I have to tell you, I'm not a trend guy. Okay. And I'm not a trend guy on purpose. I would never want anyone to go run out to a store and buy something because I said, "Oh, this is the trend item." So for me, it's all about what's in your closet, what's your lifestyle like, what do you need, and then, okay, here's what's available this season. Maybe this will suit you. I will say this, and this transcends trends and seasons. The one item I believe every woman and every man should own, and many don't, is a blazer. It's the easiest way in the world to dress up the ubiquity of t-shirts and jeans and look polished and sophisticated and ready to go out. It's so easy. Get a blazer. I love it. That's such a good excuse for why I have so many blazers in my closet. <laughs> <laughs> but see, I knew, looking at you, <laughs> you know. Oh, well, thank you. You are... That's probably I love you. Okay, so um, another one of your fans asked, for the over 40-year-old woman yes. now who's interviewing for jobs, what is an appropriate interview wear other than the traditional suit? Well, first of all, it depends upon what the interview is for, but I believe in dressing up for an interview, no matter what the circumstances, okay. and there's no reason not to be feminine. Um, wear a dress. I love the classic wrap dress. Thank you, mm -hmm. Diane von Furstenberg. Sure. Um, it, the, the wrap dress is one of my favorites because it looks great on almost any size um, and it's, it transcends any age and it just has a, a built-in elegance and sophistication uh, but by all means, no matter what the interview, dress up. And you can also, I mean, if, if you so desire, pair the, a, a, a dress with a blazer. Um, but I, I have to say, too, I'm a fan of the, of the business suit, of suiting for women, okay. but I advise mixing, getting two okay. different colors, but colors that complement each other, and mixing up the pieces. Okay. So you're not wearing head to toe the same. Okay, fantastic. One last question. How do you tell a friend that they are dressing inappropriately for work? That's a very good question. How about the joke? I mean, I believe in 
being a blunt instrument of sorts. But I also believe in a Socratic approach to things, okay. question to Q and A's. And I would simply ask, do you think this is appropriate for the workplace? And you let them know? defend themselves. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. just ask the question, do you think this is appropriate? Okay. And by asking the question, you, in a matter of speaking, answer it. Absolutely. Yeah. Fantastic advice. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Sarah. Um, I know you have a lot of fans that are excited to see you upstairs. Well, I'm so. excited to see them, too. Fantastic. Thanks. Everybody, go out and get the book, Kim Gunn's Fashion Bible. It will be a staple in your book. Here. I think it will be. Thank <laughs> you.